The Inland Northwest is booming and we are committed to following all that growth in our ongoing Boomtown series. But in the Leita Hangman and Grandview Thorpe neighborhoods, the infrastructure just isn't keeping up with all that population growth. So the city is placing a six month moratorium on building permits in those areas. Tonight, Krem 2's Nathan Hyun tells us about a push that local residents have made for that new moratorium. The Spokane City Council passed a six month building moratorium for the Leita and Thorpe neighborhoods. The purpose is to improve infrastructure before more people move into the area, especially around Highway 195. Many cars go upwards of 80 miles an hour on Highway 195, and some drivers have to cross an entire highway to make their turn. It's been this way for the last 20 years. We've been concerned for years, and it's it's kept rising in the level of importance, and uh, I think it really reached a tipping point in the last couple of years as Spokane's been discovered by a lot of people outside of uh, Washington even. A lot of people are moving here. People that live in the surrounding neighborhoods are happy that additional houses and businesses won't be built yet because they want roads to first be safe. One resident believes the moratorium is a right step in the right direction. We love where we live and uh, there's an interest to kind of protect the quality of life. Uh, and within all that, the recognition for years is there's a seriously lack of infrastructure of all kinds. Super exciting, like hugely exciting. It's been years in the making. A recent transportation study of US 195 called for $400 million of improvements in the infrastructure along Highway 195 and cited safety as the number one issue along the corridor. That money would pay for things like safer intersections and off-ramps. We know what a lot of the solutions are to those problems. So the, 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 in terms of transportation, we've, we have a good sense for what needs to happen. The problem that we have now is really funding the projects that need to occur. One Leitol resident we talked to says that if more people come to the area, there's an even higher chance for accidents. She's surprised the moratorium actually passed. I was very surprised. Um, we did not know that they were going to put it for um, at the council meeting last night. So very surprising to us, but you know, very encouraging. The city planner says until the city and state can figure out how to fund these improvements, development should be paused. So more and more people are expected to come into the area as neighborhoods around Highway 195 continue to grow. This will increase the number of people on the highway and the pressure that roads that cross into the highway will feel. In Spokane, Nathan Hunt, Krem 2 News.